Hey guys, it's Andrea from the blog Pine and Prospect Home and today I have a little bit of a different video to share with you than what I normally share here on my channel, which is uh, mostly home decor and affordable DIY projects. But as most of you know, um, I am expecting our fourth baby. We don't know the gender yet. And uh, we have three boys, ages seven, three, seven, five, and three. <laughs> Um, that poor middle child is always getting getting forgotten. <laughs> I was a middle child, so I joke with my mom about that. But anyways, today I want to talk about how I'm preparing for this baby and some things that I think are essential uh, for that postpartum sort of phase. Um, most of these things I already had on hand. I had to pull out my bin and kind of look through to remember but I also made a list of items that I still need to purchase that I thought I would share with you. Um, things that are absolutely essential, in my opinion, after having a baby. So I just wanna talk about those things. I think it's important, especially if you're a brand new mom. I wish that I had known these things when I first had a baby. And uh, my mom was very helpful, but she, everyone is different and everyone experiences different things. And there were things that I went through that she didn't go through and she didn't have an issue with. So I just think it's good to uh, educate yourself, be informed and, um, and learn from other moms who've been there. So the very first thing that I want to emphasize after having this baby, and one thing that I really think is so important is rest. Um, if you are having your first baby, let me just tell you, one of the biggest mistakes that I made after having our son Ethan was just pretty much not resting. Everyone tells you to rest, everyone says sleep when the baby sleeps, but that's just something that I ignored and I didn't do and I was up pretty much right away. Um, doing chores around the house, laundry, dishes. I had to keep everything tidy. And let me just tell you guys, it took a long time for me to heal after having my first baby. I remember I was still uh, bleeding for quite some time after having him. And I'll just throw this warning out now. We're gonna talk about some things that if you, <laughs> I don't think I have a lot of male viewers, but if you're uncomfortable with these topics, you might not wanna, you might not wanna listen. Um, but yeah, it took me a lot longer to heal because I just refused to rest. With this one, I especially want to focus on resting after the baby is born. In fact, I was listening to a podcast the other day and she recommended, she said, if it's at all possible, try to just stay in bed or stay in your bedroom for two weeks, which probably sounds crazy to a lot of you. Um, and it's not always possible, you know, depending on your situation, if your partner has to go back to work, um, which with our first, that was the case. My husband went right back to work. He took one or two days off um, and then he had to go back to work again. And I was very stubborn uh, when it came to people offering for help. I would say, no, I'm fine. I don't need it. I'm okay. Um, but I am definitely, now that we are on baby number four, willing to accept all the help that people want to offer. If, you know, my sisters or sister-in-law wants to offer to take the kids, I am going to say yes. Don't feel guilty about that. This is such an important time for your body. And I just, if I could, if I could tell new moms one thing, it would be rest, rest, rest. After you have that baby, just lay in bed and soak up those newborn cuddles and cherish that time. If, if you, you know, if, you're, if your husband is able to stay home with you um, or if you can get some help from family members, take advantage of it and just rest your body. Um, the second thing that I would recommend, and every doctor, kind of has a different opinion about this, but I really loved taking baths. And if you research it, um, some people say you should wait, you know, up to three days before you take baths. Some say six, up to six weeks. Um, you just have to talk to your doctor and see what your doctor says about it. But for me, um, I loved taking Epsom salt baths. They just felt so 
so good after having a baby just soaking in that warm water I would use essential oils and that was a huge help to me as well but everyone's different um, especially like if you have a c-section for example I know that baths are a big no-no so you've got to talk to your doctor about what what you know works best for you and your your particular situation um so a couple more things that i want to talk about some things that i need to order still i actually wrote them down um because you know being 33 weeks pregnant i'm starting to think about these things but so i'm just gonna list a few things that they do give you in the hospital but these are things that you can purchase if you plan on having a home birth or going to a birthing center. Um, one of the things that they will give you is like that Dermaplast spray. And I actually found a spray that is by Earth Mama Organics that I plan on ordering. Um, it's a cooling spray that I think is an absolute must have. After having that baby, I cannot tell you how good it feels to spray that <laughs> down there. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's life changing. Um, they also give you a little squirt bottle at the hospital. You can order those online as well and just, you know, depending on how sore you are, you might not be able to wipe really well when you use the restroom. And so having that warm water in the squirt bottle and being able to just kind of um, spray yourself <laughs> down, it is amazing. It's one of the most satisfying things. Of course, at the hospital, they're going to give you like the heavy flow, pads um they're almost like diapers and i need to get some of those I'll also give you like the mesh underwear which i love but i will also probably be purchasing a package of uh large i really like the um like the boy short style underwear uh i just feel like they're really comfortable after having a baby so those are the things that i need to purchase still i thought i would throw those out there. I think that's everything. Um, I will make sure I link all of these items in the blog post. So let me talk about a few things that I already have that I don't have to purchase. Um, I plan on breastfeeding. Um, I have with all of my children and one thing that I experienced that my mom did not was extreme pain at, uh, whenever I breastfed. And um, now that I've done a lot of research on it, of course, a lot of it has to do with the latch and if you're nursing correctly, um, the baby could be tongue-tied, which our second Gabriel was, and we had that reversed. So there are different factors that play into it, but I would 100% um, encourage you to um, get some nipple cream, and I'm going to link a brand that I plan on ordering. It's by Mother Love Organics. So I'm gonna grab some of that. Here are a couple of nursing essentials that I think are really awesome. Um, obviously, after about a week, um, in those first few days, that colostrum is coming out, but after about a week, your milk comes in. And um, I think it's <laughs> really important to uh, have some of these awesome uh, nursing pads on hand they're like washable and I have a stack like this high of these things stashed away if I did not wear these especially in the first couple of weeks sometimes I would even double them up um, my bra would just be completely soaked with milk every time I nursed I mean I need these things in my life after having a baby so I would highly recommend them. They make a couple of different brands. Um, I'll link the ones that I have. They're really thick because sometimes um, you can get them and they're really thin. They do have some that are disposable that you can throw away, but I just figured why not just wash them and reuse them. So these are really, um, really essential <laughs> for me. A couple of um, nursing bras. These are all from Walmart, Walmart actually. But I like to get the ones that don't have any underwire. They're very comfortable. These are padded, so they offer a little bit more support. And of course, they're the kind that you can like unclip in order to nurse. I really like those if I'm gonna be going out. These are a little less structured. I will wear these um, just with the nursing pad, pads inside of them. And they're a little bit more comfortable. They also have the clip uh, for nursing. 
but probably my favorite if I'm just gonna be um, around the house and I unfortunately I will even wear these at night I just have to in order to you know <laughs> take advantage of these I need something to be able to keep these in but my favorite for sleeping at night is just like a basic sports bra and this just has an easy I have a couple of these this just has an really easy access um, for when you're nursing in the middle of the night you don't have to deal with like unclipping and all of those type things so um, those are all my favorites I'm gonna link all of those for you in the blog post if you're interested I don't have a pump that I can recommend to you I still have a really old one um, that I barely used with my last two babies I would use it only if I absolutely had to like if we were having a babysitter and I needed to get some milk for them ready but um, I don't really have a pump to recommend for you I'm sorry about that if anything I use a hand pump um, and I'll just use that so if I do have to have um, someone watch the baby um, I will just take a little hand pump with me and I would hand pump in the car uh, if I had to <laughs> but I love these camis I wanted to share these with you these are nursing friendly camis and they have clips they don't have any straps but they have clips built in so that you can just clip these right onto your nursing bra and I don't know about you guys but I really liked wearing camis um, after having a baby loose fitting shirts felt really good. I would never wear anything super tight after having a baby because your body is, you know, you're adjusting and um, I just like really loose flowing things. And so having a cami underneath, if I were to lift my t-shirt up, um, I could just, you know, take the cami, pull the cami down. It was just, it made life easier on me. I have a black one and a white one and I loved these things. I need to buy more of them actually. So, um, I want to grab some of those. Of course, you can get camis that are nursing friendly that have the straps on them if you don't want to hook these up to your to your bra straps. Um, I have a couple of those that I've actually thrifted over the years. Always check the maternity section at the thrift store. You never know what you're going to find. Um, so a lot of times I'll check there. And then um, going back to clothing, just a couple of things that I would recommend getting. Um, I love wearing very, like I said, loose fitting shirts, uh, loose fitting bottoms, drawstring, elastic waist. Uh, I got these actually just recently at our local Goodwill store. Um, I, I thrift a lot of our clothing. And so um, I grabbed these. I have a couple of other pairs similar to this that are just cotton and stretchy and comfortable. You wanna be comfortable after having a baby. I grabbed these as well. They're Old Navy, but they were thrifted and they're just really loose fitting, super soft uh, joggers and they're just gonna be really cozy um, and comfortable after having the baby. And that's what you want to look for um, for postpartum. <laughs> um, another thing that I love to have on hand is a some type of wrap or robe. And this is one that I actually got whenever I had Caleb, um, but basically it's just, it's got a lot of excess material in the front. So when you are nursing, um, you don't have to have an extra nursing cover uh, with you. I just think it's nice to have these because, you know, as the baby is nursing you can kind of just cover it up a little bit <laughs> I'm not the most open person when it comes to nursing I'm not the type of person that just likes to um, you know whip it out in the grocery store I'm not saying that's a bad thing and I'm not looking down on people who do that um, I just personally am not like that <laughs> I'm a little bit more private and so getting wraps like this just really come in handy for after having a baby and I grabbed this one at Walmart actually I'll try to see if I can link a similar one for you guys um, let's see here so I got another robe at Walmart recently this is one that I just purchased this one is much more lightweight I had Caleb in May so um, it can be a little chilly sometimes in the spring he here in Michigan but this one is very lightweight um, it's by Secret Treasures Maternity and it's super soft and it's so pretty it has this um, 
beautiful uh, like lace sleeve and again it's just a really lightweight wrap perfect for nursing it's got a little um, tie right here so I will link this one I love how lightweight it feels and let me just tell you that after having a baby <laughs> Anything that makes you feel a little pretty and feminine is a good thing <laughs> because your body is just, it's, you know, you've been through a lot and sometimes when you look in the mirror and you just feel like, oh my goodness, am I ever going to get that body back that I once had, it's nice to have pretty things. And so I just really liked, I wish you guys could feel it, it's super, super soft and I like that it's um, not long sleeved, it's lightweight. Uh, another thing that I grabbed at Walmart that was by the same brand are these pajamas and they're nursing friendly pajamas. This video is getting a lot longer than what I thought it would be. Oh, a boppy pillow is something that I do use to nurse, but I will just, I would be careful with the boppy pillows. I think that's what they're called. I think there's other brands like nesting pillows and stuff because I think what a lot of new moms do, those pillows only come to, like to, to be this high and so, I think what a lot of moms do and what I did is they bend over to meet the baby's mouth rather than relaxing their body and bringing that baby up to them. So a lot of times I'll use my boppy pillow to nurse, but I'll shove another pillow underneath. You never want to be in an uncomfortable position when you're nursing. You never want to be like hunched over and in pain. I guess I'll just end with a few more thoughts that um, things that I really want to be more aware of with this uh, baby and after having the baby, um, drink tons of water. Just drink lots and lots of water. <laughs> I have a large water bottle and I should have gone and grabbed it, but if you can get one of those large ones that keeps track of how much water you drink, I will link mine in the blog post. It is so important when you're nursing to be drinking a lot of water. You don't want to get dehydrated. It's important uh, for your health. Another thing is to have healthy snacks handy and available. So I hope some of these items helped you guys, especially if you are a new mama. I truly think that if mama isn't taking care of herself, if mama isn't resting enough and taking care of her body and getting enough water and enough rest, then it's not gonna be good for the baby. I mean, um, you wanna enjoy that time. It's precious, it goes by so fast. And so um, it's really important to just take care of yourself, take care of your body. And that's why I wanted to share this video because I often see, you know, all of these baby checklist items, but I think it's important for mom to focus on what she needs in order to um, get back on her feet after having a baby. If you guys have any afterbirth tips or recommendations, I would love to hear them. I love hearing from other moms, kind of what you went through with your fourth and what it was like. And so please leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you all. If you are new to my channel, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.